Okay, this how-to video is going to describe how to use the, the DRC by window function. So traditionally inside PCB Editor or CAD and Allegro, the DRC is always on. If we look at um, ways to kind of check this and enable this, we can either use the display status, then you can see the DRC is on. You can kind of do an update DRC that will give you up to date. But, but there's an online function here that turns the DRC on. So we could disable the DRC here. We could also go to um, set up constraints and modes. And inside the constraints and modes, the online DRC, we could disable the function here. And we can also do it from the setup. There's an enabled online DRC. So if we were to disable the online DRC, that means that we might run slightly quicker on uh, on some designs, depending on the size of the design. But what we want to do, I'm just going to create a couple of DRCs here. So let's start off. What we'll do is we'll move a component, and I'll create a DRC here. And maybe what we'll do is we'll change a track so that we specifically let's turn the bubble off and what we'll do is we'll just route some DRCs over here so we've made a couple of errors here now rather than me then turning on the whole DRC I'm just working in this local window what I can do is I can use the tools and then there's a windows DRC function and I can then pick a window to just give me a DRC and you can see that I've got the <coughs> the DRC errors here that's showing just based on that local area 